someone passed away uh, last Friday, and I did want to make note of this person because she fucking rules. R.I.P. to Mary Weiss, the lead singer of the Shangri La's, oh passed my away. Gosh. Wow, I didn't. Uh, know that. So they're from your neck of the woods, Joe. A, a they're re- from a, re- a, re- a really? real one to be sure. Yeah, they're they're from Queens. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you know, but well, you- ever, hey, uh, I was gonna say, like, look, you're really only gonna surprise me if you're seeing your neck of the woods. Your actual hometown of Staten Island. I'm right, like, no right. way. How have I not heard of that? <laughs> Queens, everyone's from fucking Queens. Okay, well, <laughs> everyone. Every, yeah. Uh, <laughs> everyone. All, all are from Queens. The nanny. George, George, the nanny. George Costanza's parents. Selma Hayek. <laughs> probably. I don't know. <laughs> Selma Hayek. I just thought of, I was like, what's the most random name that's definitely <laughs> okay. not from Queens? Okay. Jay Z. Uh, <laughs> Sandra Hewler. They're, Mads Mickelson. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they grew up in uh, Cambria High. Heights in Queens, oh, and they named the band after a diner <laughs> in their neighborhood. Hell yeah. Because uh, they were all like 15 when they got together. They were in high school, and by the time they graduated, they had toured with the Beatles. Fucking rules. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if you're a fan of uh, Goodfellas as I am, you hear a ton of Shangri La's music uh, in Goodfellas. And for, you know, the younger people listening, if you're going to know, anything of them uh, currently you might know this as the uh, TikTok sound when uh, somebody does something fucked up oh no oh no oh wow so the sped up version of that is uh, what the kids oh, play crazy. on uh, on the old tiki talkie when uh, somebody is uh, you know lighting a uh, a water cooler full of alcohol on fire <laughs> when a backyard wrestler is about to throw his buddy onto a folding chair yeah yeah just the entire Buffalo Bills uh, celebration uh, right. situation just uh, nothing but that but uh, yeah no I just wanted to make mention of uh, Mary Weiss also so cool. uh, the Shangri Las I mean their big song is this one and I love the queen's ass accent on these girls uh, at the beginning of this because the thing they're known for is uh, tales of uh, teenage tragedy. They have a song about a mom who uh, disowns her daughter for being rebellious and oh then boy. kills herself. Uh, <laughs> they've got a song about a couple who uh, crash and die. And then, of course, the big one is uh, leader of the pack. Oh, yeah. Really going out with them? Well, there she is. Let's ask her. <laughs> that voice. There she is. Let's ask her. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, it must be great riding with him. Uh. Is he picking you up after school today? <laughs> By the way, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? So again, good fellas uh, makes yeah. great use of this song the first time. That I, I mean, I mean, you just want to be looking at a tracking shot right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to see Ray Liotta beating a man's face with a butt of a gun <laughs> uh, on behalf of Lorraine Bracco. Um, I, I used to have a, my parents, I guess, had a Alvin and the Chipmunks album for oh. us to listen to, and this song was on there, dude, and we loved it. Does, when Alvin and the Chipmunks does, sing this shit, hell yeah. does Alvin's boyfriend die at the end? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Dave dies. Yeah, Dave, Dave Simon. Dave goes careening off Devil's Dead Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. He was killed on impact. <laughs> 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 he didn't suffer long. It's so great because it's just a girl being sad about her boyfriend being a fucking idiot. Right. <laughs> you know, he's like, sorry, baby, I'm going to go drive around Dead Man's Curve in the rain. Oh and then he surprisingly dies. At stay the away end. from Dead Man's Curve. Yeah. Yeah. When will these kids learn? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they toured with James Brown, as I mentioned, the Beatles, oh the God. Rolling Stones. Uh, during uh, there's a part in Leader of the Pack where they start revving a motorcycle. When they did that live, they were touring with uh, the zombies and they're drunk would literally pull his motorcycle in the back and like rev Whoa, it during cool. the Fantastic. shows. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Fucking rules. Uh, Probably a high school gym feeling with exhaust. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 100%. yeah. I was imagining outdoors, but you're probably right. Out. <laughs> yeah. It was probably one of those package tours where it was like six bands sure. at the same time kind of a thing. But uh, yeah, they uh, were notable because they, uh, unlike most of the girl groups, they almost always wore like jeans and pants cool. and leather right. jackets and shit like that. Oh, cool. And oh, then yeah. later, Later, all of your favorite first run punk rock bands, the Ramones, yeah. Patti Smith, Blondie, every single one of them credits like, yo, we saw the Shangri Las when we were teenagers oh, and yeah. they looked fucking awesome. And uh, they had that reputation because Mary Weiss uh, was well known to always have a gun on her okay. uh, because uh, some crazy guy tried yeah. to break into her hotel room and she uh, bought it when she was underage off some dude on the street. Yeah, that's, and, what, that's what you do. And, uh, she uh, got in trouble because 
the FBI came to her parents' house and were like, hey, she's transporting a gun across state lines. <laughs> That's uh, mega illegal. But uh, I just wanted to read this. Mary Weiss remembered going to a party at Dusty Springfield's house while in the Shangri-Las. Dusty had a unique way of dealing with frustration. She would go out and buy boxes of China with the sole purpose of hurling them against the wall. <laughs> Oh, boy. And the Shangri-Las then began this practice. Uh, they would buy boxes of plates. Quote, they had these long corridors at the Fox Theater in Brooklyn that echoed. So we would stand at one end and throw plates to the other ends. We would let off a lot of steam that way. That's actually how I met Marvin Gaye. He was trying to get out of his dressing room and he stuck his head out and these plates were just flying past his head. <laughs> So they were fucking for 1965. They were nuts. hell yeah, yeah, yeah that's, know, right. That rules. So uh, yeah, the Shangri Las would split by the end of the 60s, and they reunited in the late 70s to record. But the producers were like, "We want you to do disco," and they were like, "We like Patti Smith. We want to do punk," which right. is so funny because it would have just sounded like if the Ramones could sing. Sure, <laughs> that's that would have been yeah. because that's the whole Ramones thing: jeans and leather jackets and shit, and also from Queens. Yeah, and also from Queens, yes. They reunited once in 1989, and after working in architecture and interior design in New York for years, Mary put out her one and only solo album, Dangerous Game, in 2007, which is exactly as 60s cool as you would imagine. Oh, yeah, even I though listen to that. It's, it's, I bet that's, I bet it, great. it's pretty cool. It doesn't quite have that same like wall of sound mm-hmm. sort of production to it, but it's got that style. Uh, Mary Wise died in Palm Springs. Uh, she was 75 years old. Poor so girl. R.I.P. Shout out to... Mary Weiss. Love, uh, lo- love riding it out in Palm Springs. That's the place. Yeah, that's Ain't the it? Place. Yeah. Ain't it? Ah, Absolutely. Man. Yeah. We should all be so lucky. You know, obviously I'd seen Goodfellas, but I found the uh, Shangri-La's like greatest hits or something that was put out by Rhino back in like the early 2000s at the radio station I was working right. at. And I remember putting it in, listening to it and be like, oh, this is all the Goodfellas music. Like right. it, it like clicked in to play. So I was like, oh my God. So I've been a big fan of theirs forever. So I was sad to hear about Mary, but uh, man, she, uh, she's Yeah, what awesome. a life, huh? That's yeah, cool. Really, That's absolutely. really, really cool. 